I see as 10 years of hard work. We work for this one moment, it's 90 minutes and it's on our home soil. I was a little 15 year old kid. <laughs> you dream about playing World Cups, Champions League, uh, Bundesliga, Premier League. I didn't realise how big the step actually was until I've made it. I had my family with me. When I went to Holland by myself is where I really matured and turned into a man and stood with my two feet on the ground like I am now. Yeah, Deutsch, Deutsch can you read it? Ah, but it's not perfect. I've also found my home here in Frankfurt. It's probably one of the nicest cities I've been to. Groningen wasn't their best, if I'm honest. Uh, Schalke wasn't amazing, but Frankfurt, you know, we've got the skyline blick. We've got the river here. This is my also view I have from my house. The city I enjoy uh, spending my free time in, and um, especially in summer. Taking this one for Frankfurt, and what a goal that is! Oh, good heavens! Well, he's only been on the pitch for a matter of seconds, Aydin Hrustic. You know, I, I fight for my spot and uh, when the manager does need me, um, I'm there. I came on at half-time against Stuttgart, uh, managed to get two goals and, you know, I think um, it shows the kind of character I am and I keep fighting and I don't give up and um, played against Bayern Munich. So this is a kind of motivation uh, for myself and um, I like playing big games, so I think uh, the next game, when, it, when it's our next big game, uh, I think the manager will think about me. <laughs> a big game is for us at home against Japan, of course. And, you know, I see it as a do or die. I think this is a moment where you kind of dream, you dream of uh, moments like these. I don't see myself as a kid anymore. I played 13 out of 16 of our last games and uh, I see it as a kind of a challenge, um, you know, stepping up and also being a kind of role model also for the, for the younger boys who are coming in. Because I used to look up to players, so um, now I'm trying to take this next step. I mean, I still am young, but, um, you know, I, I think I can bring a goal or two um, from a set piece. And I can provide an assist and also the hunger I've got um, on the pitch to win. Some of the boys have already uh, participated in the World Cup. Uh, I only just missed out uh, last World Cup and I was gutted, I wasn't happy at all. Then we go back to when I left Australia at the age of 15. Um, it was one of my dreams, so uh, we've got them coming on our home soil. So um, first of all, we need our fans. We need our, you know, number 12 in our back supporting us 90 minutes. You know, I'm sure we will, we will be ready mentally, physically, and we'll give everything we've got. Aiden Frostage in off the crossbar. A piece of art, is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> the soccer room midfielder who might be emerging as a star of tomorrow has become a star of tonight. I mean, every goal counts, but the nicer you hit a ball or the higher it goes in a top corner, it's always a piece of art, like I'd say. But, um, you know, sometimes you do score amazing goals and sometimes you get rebounds like I did against Stuttgart. Deflection and in it goes, Aiden Hurstich. Which I'll also take. Oh, and the challenge on the edge of the box. Is it inside the box or is it just outside? To be honest, I thought it was a penalty myself. The referee comes over and says it's outside the box, so I thought, okay, even better. And I saw where the keeper was standing, I saw the wall, and I thought, you know, from 18, 19 metres to whip it over the wall under the bar isn't as easy as whipping it hard in the keeper's corner. We look back at games and we see the keeper's strengths and weaknesses. So I thought about this and it clicked into my mind and I went for it. Cracking free kick by Rustic. They didn't need the penalty. I'll take both. As long as one of them comes the next game, I'll be happy. But um, penalty, <laughs> it's a bit easier. <laughs>